Welcome back to Epic. It has been a minute. Um, and there are some new changes. Nothing too big or huge or major, but uh, they have changed, so we're gonna cover them. The first thing is the curtains have been tweaked a little bit. And I just realized I had my speakers turned on, so I'll turn those off right now. Curtains have been tweaked a little bit. So in the past, you had to right click on the rightmost curtain when you were looking at them for them to all open and close. And if you were to click on something that wasn't the rightmost, only everything to the left would close. Well, as you can see, that's no longer the case. You can click on any curtain you want and they all open and close appropriately. And this works for curtains facing any direction. If I could get in here and hit that. There we go. There we go. I can open and close any which way I want. Now if somehow you were to have a set of curtains where you had some opened and some closed, possibly because of the old code, uh, whenever you click on a curtain here, it'll just toggle and then every curtain that's connected will take the toggled state of the one you clicked on. So if you're clicking on an open one, they'll all be turned closed. If you're clicking on a closed one, they'll all turn opened. That code was uh, semi-ported over from the Trader game. So uh, essentially, I was creating some doors that open and close up and down. And I, I was doing that so you could have an opening that was say three or four wide instead of having you know, a pole from a door in the middle. Like, you know, if your door is only a two wide opening, sure, this works great. But what if you want your opening to be three wide? Well, now you have a door that pivots and the pivot point is in the middle of the opening. It's kind of stupid. So these other ones I created open and they go up and down. So you can have it as wide as you want and you just walk right through. And I didn't want people to have to click on a specific one for them to all open. So I took inspiration from the curtain code and then realized that I should put that back over into the curtains mod because it, well, honestly was kind of stupid to not have it function like that initially. So that has been changed and now works as such. And then the other thing, I don't know where to go to show this. Let's go to, um, I don't know, the boar's head in. What's the floor in here made out of? Because I don't recall. It's not made out of anything that's really conducive to demoing this. And I think these floors are shared as the ceilings in these rooms. Yes, they are. All right, well then this is what we're gonna do. I am going to, wow, I've got all kinds of tools here. This is just perfect. Um, well, would be perfect if a steel pickaxe could break this material. Why can't it? That's dumb. Um, also, why do I have a kajillion of the same thing? Uh, let's just look for, I mean, that has to be breakable, right? Okay, this might be material from spawn that actually can't be broken. Well, needle, I'm glad I did that. Yeah, okay, great. Um, well... So that makes that difficult. I was going to, uh, oh, I'm in the kitchen. I was going to change the floor up there, but I guess I can't really do that. So we'll just come up on the roof here, I suppose. The roof is a terrible place to really do this, but uh, whatever, it's gonna work. And then we're just going to do flooring. So there are four new textures. Let me clear some of this stuff out of here um, can be crafted with uh, default wood and jungle wood and it just you put them in a different order to get the different patterns and you'll get two because you use two pieces of wood to craft it you know that seemed logical enough to me let's make it daytime so we have, these are all using global textures. 
so the texture doesn't actually repeat per se. Um, I mean, it does, but it repeats every four nodes. So this node and this node are sharing the same texture. And then the ones in between are slightly different. Um, this one more so is different. Uh, this one as well. See how they work well for floors. They have different patterns. Uh, the patterns are aligned to the world space. So you can't, you know, be like, oh, I want to make this the center of the room. You'd have to build your house around that texture to actually do that, which I realize may be slightly annoying to some people if they want to do that, but there's really no way to work around that with global textures or world aligned, I don't know, whatever. Um, so yeah, these are the four materials. They're also available in your different stairs and slab combinations. They are not usable in the table saw for more blocks. They will not be um, for the simple reason that they are using the global textures. And more blocks registers everything as mesh nodes, which no issues there. The issue, however, is that those use UV mapping and UV mapping does not support global textures, nor can it due to the simple fact that the UV map wouldn't know how to scale anything. And I don't think that would even be possible to add in as a possibility. I think that is impossible to code something like that. So that's the reason it's the way it is. Um, and that I think is it for updates. Short video, not too much to cover, just some small things. Maybe we'll see a little more dev coming through on here. We'll see, only time will tell, I suppose. Until next time, thanks for watching. Um, if you wanna join the server, info is all on the website, which is linked down in the video description as always. And I'll see you next time.